welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, on today's, in today's video, hopefully this will be a fairly quick video and I'm going to show you how I use my thermal printer that I have for um, printing and making the shipping labels for all of my um, Etsy sales. So using the thermal printer and for using sticker paper that is in different shapes and different sizes to make product packaging labels. So this is one that I already did. And this particular um, paper is from a company called, it's this company, Munbin, I guess is how you say it, not really sure. And this is one of their, um, their one of their thermal papers that actually uses a, that it prints everything in blue instead of black and white because thermal papers, thermal printers only print black and white. They're only gonna print, actually they're only gonna print black. So this particular paper prints it in blue and this one was one I played with changing the positive and negative space so that it printed either the background and left the words white or I printed the words that I made black and left the background white. But anyway, so this is, um, these are, since you already have the printer, it doesn't take ink and you can print all kinds of product um, packaging stickers and labels for your items just with just with pa sticker paper. You can get this paper. This, I think I found it on Amazon. You can buy directly from the company. I even have some that I've purchased from AliExpress. Whatever is up to you, you know, whatever you can find, as long as it's thermal paper and it fits within your printer, you should be able to use it. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you how to do this using Canva. Now, normally, whenever, normally, whenever I design my um, labels for my products, I usually do everything in Adobe software, particularly Adobe Illustrator. But Adobe software is quite expensive and not a lot of people use it unless you are unless you have an art background or you're somehow involved in you somehow work in graphic design or something like that you may not have access to adobe and like i said it's pretty i'm not gonna lie it's expensive so a lot of people you know it's out of reach for a lot of people but so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you how you would go about creating and designing these in your free software. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is open your website into Canva. If you have your account, go ahead and sign in if you are not already signed in. And then we're gonna go over to create a design. So I'm going to click on create a design and I'm gonna go down to custom size. Now I've done this multiple times, so I already have a 58 by 58 millimeter um, document already put in that I want to use. So you would put 58 by 58, make sure it is millimeters, and then create your design. So you're gonna come up with a square. Now for the circles, so once I have my page set up, I am again 58 by 58 millimeters, I need to put a template for my circle. So I'm going to come over to my elements and I'm going to simply type circle. And then it comes up right here, shapes. So I'm just going to click on that. And this, we're going to end up deleting this at the end or at least changing the color. We're going to do something. This is not going to stay on here, but we need this for a template so we know where to put our lettering or any um, any graphics that we want to put on our um, on our label. So the first thing I need to do is resize this and I'm going to use the recommendations on that website that we just went to, this um, Munbin website, and it said 50.8. So I just stretched that to make it 50.8 and then centered it in and then I just centered it in uh, in that square. And I'm gonna change this color. I don't want it to be super dark, but I want it to be enough that I can see. So as you can see, 
I can see exactly where that circle is and I want to stay for my design I want to keep it confined within that circle and this will be important when it comes to printing okay so for my design well when you do this when you um, set your set your uh, sticker up you can go through there are all kinds of graphics that you could use I mean you can put pictures in here it just needs to be black and white so you can put little drawings in here you can put anything anything you want but for what I'm doing today I need text so this is going to be just a product circle and it's going to have information about the um, about the notepads so text is all I need now, if you scroll down through the text, some of these, anything that has this little, um, that has this, uh, this little crown, those are pro elements. So if you don't, if you're not paying for a pro account and you have the free one, you will not be able to access those items. So some things do, some things don't. And the only thing I can tell you about this is you want to keep whatever you put on your um, label it needs to be black and white so you would not want to put something like this there's no way this can print it's um it, it just it can't print because it's too much you know it just it needs to be a solid color so you could put something like this on here and change the color this would work fine you can go through some of these pre-made templates. Maybe there's something that will stand out to you and see if there's something you like. So you can add your own text box. And if there's something you want to type, you know, you can type your own words. That works. But for what I want, I'm going to use, this is the one I've already set up. So I'm going to just go ahead and click it. You can see what it kind of looks like. Yeah. So with this, you could, um, um, desk planner. I mean, you can change any of the lettering. 52 weeks. You know, you can change the lettering around to whatever you need to make it, um, make it applicable for what you need it for. Now, Okay, so for time's sake, I already have that same format. Um, I've already played around with the wording and exactly what I want it to say. So I'm just going to come over here and grab everything and copy it. And then I'm going to go to my other page, the one we just added the circle to, and I'm going to paste that. Now when I paste it, it goes in centered exactly where I need it to be, and we're good to go. So before I save this, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this page just so I have an extra one to work with. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to select that um, circle and I'm going to change it to white. So I want to have nothing in the background. The only thing I want showing is my lettering. And then I'm going to go to share. And I'm not going to save both of those pages. I just kept that copy of that first one just as a template. And I only want the second one. Now, if you are, um, if you don't have the pro account, you cannot set this as a transparent background. So you have to make sure that it is white. Because um, if it's not, it's possible that if there's a color, it could be possible that your printer would read it and print the entire circle in black. So I've got my second page and I'm just going to download it. And it pops up right here. So I'll move this to the center of the screen. So here's the layout that I did. Here's the design for my stickers and I'm ready to print it. Now I already have the circles I already have the circle um, paper loaded into my printer and I have my printer you know hooked up to my uh, computer already so I'm going to go to print 
and when the print comes up check make sure that you're on the right printer and then the next thing is the paper size so I have I've gone to the manage custom sizes and I've added these two already for two of the labels that I use but if you don't have something already installed or set as a template for your paper sizes just come up to the two by two and click on that and it's going to show you it's going to give you a preview of what's going to print now I would suggest doing one and making sure that you don't need to scale this down because I have had um, I have had some that it um, printed too far too far to the edge and I did have to shrink it a little bit but we're gonna test this one and see if that um, using that 50.8 millimeter circle template was worked well so far it has but just to be on the safe side okay. all right I just printed it and there it is and it actually printed perfect so that's all I need to do um, go ahead and you have it saved on your computer and you can print out as many of these as you need and you're not going to be using any ink the um, the the paper the paper is relatively inexpensive you don't have to cut anything you don't have to rely on a Cricut a silhouette any of those cutting machines you don't have to buy expensive um, expensive pre um, like pre like the Avery sticker papers you can do this just with thermal paper thermal sticker paper and your printer that you already have so it's a win-win so I hope that this was a tutorial and a project that you found useful and it's inspired you to do something creative and use the materials and the tools that you already have so thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and I'll see you next time for another tutorial